Hey guys, welcome to TCR. Sid here. Thanks for clicking on the video. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Today, I want to give you guys an update on those creepy crawlies that we had on the side of the house that made their chrysalises and see if any of them have emerged. So before we check out the progress of the caterpillars, the chrysalises, and maybe the butterflies, let's go check on that goat, little Dan, that we banded a few weeks ago and see how things are detaching. Good morning, handsomes. Hello, Dan. So a couple weeks ago, you guys might remember, we turned this guy from a buckling into a weather. And uh, I thought I'd show you guys the progress of she found I, I gave them a piece of napa cabbage and uh the birds fished it out when they dropped it <laughs> she's trying to get it back let me show you uh how his nether region is looking oh there are spider webs everywhere this morning i keep walking into them so as you can see it's looking good they're pretty shriveled pretty close to coming off scabbed over they're pretty i mean yeah, he doesn't like them being touched. I don't blame you. I wouldn't want mine being touched either. <laughs> but close to coming off, I would say in the next week, which, you know, is right on right on target for about that four week mark. But doesn't give him any discomfort. He seems fine, but they are definitely way shriveled. And then my little girl here. Hi, Anne. But they're super friendly and loving. They did go through a little skittish stage for a little while, but uh, they're doing well. Huh, they were happy and we're healthy. Yeah, and they're just having breakfast. I'm running a little bit behind this morning. So they were a little mad at me, but not too bad. But yeah, I mean, it's coming along. And she's, you can see her little udder is really poking through now. Her little, her little udder's starting to form, huh? Yeah. Yes, they are. See, I'm just getting bigger. I'm just getting bigger. Just I'm a good girl. Yeah. But, and you can see too, cause we just dis disbutted them. Um, there's no scurs. Um, they look really good. And uh, it's like, almost like they were pulled. Like there's no, like you could never tell that they ever had uh, horns. Pretty good, pretty good, huh? Yeah, says that yummy. Remember when we were under attack a few weeks ago? <laughs> Some of these chrysalises have emerged. Unfortunately, I was in Mississippi this last week. I just got home in the wee hours of the morning here. Oh, this one looks like it's coming out right now, but something happened to it. Oh, uh, this one looks like it started to emerge and something bad happened. It didn't quite make it out and something got it because it's just sort of the wings there, but you can see the markings. So unfortunately, I missed a lot of them coming out which is such a bummer. Of course it would happen like the, the couple of days that I was gone. So here's one that's still not open. So I'm gonna kind of keep an eye on these over the next couple of days. These two are still not opened. So this one's already emerged. They lose like part of their, their little tail. Um, you can see right there. You can see this is just a shell now, like a little leaf, but it emerged at some point in the last couple of days because I checked these literally right before I left. So yeah, so there's still a few that haven't emerged yet that don't, that I don't know if, I mean, they did make their cocoons a little bit off from each other. Um, here's a couple that are, that you can see that they emerged. Like this is open, it's just hanging there. It's just the shell, just the shell of it hanging. So they definitely emerged. Just pick it off of here and get it. It's really, really on there. Oh, I couldn't even get it all off, but you can see it's just kind of like a papery casing that's left. Oh, blows away. This one's opened. I'm gonna try to get it from the, from the base there. There we go. So you can really see. So this is all that's left on the side of the house are these little wrappings that they emerged from. And these, you know, these are pretty cool because they, they live for about a year. So, oh, okay. And then they don't come off your finger. And that did kind of spike me a little bit. You see, this has been excavated. We had to uh, have, while I was in Mississippi, 
Mike had to have the um, septic cleaned out and dug up and inspected and repaired. <laughs> Isn't that fun? So now it's all kind of dirty mess out here, but at least they put it back together at least. So even if those ones that exploded out, even if they exploded out on Thursday, I would think by today at the latest tomorrow morning, those guys would have hatched out. So I just kind of came out here. I did see a few butterflies yesterday when I came outside. So I was just kind of looking out here. It's a little early, I guess, for them. It is a little chilly. So I was just kind of looking to see if maybe any of them had come out here to, to snooze. I don't know where butterflies go to sleep. <laughs> so I just thought I'd come out and look at the flowers and see if I could see any of them out here. And I'll show you guys. I know this is kind of a hodgepodge video. My apologies. With me being gone this week and getting back, um, it's just kind of made things a little bit, a little bit weird. And we had some some stuff going on. So, as you can see, the hose is running in the pool. <laughs> um, well, actually, the hose isn't the the refill. The research refill is. We had to drain this again because the rebarb. I don't know if you can see right here. See if I can do it. Right there without it focusing on my finger. Right underneath the flamingo. Right there. Um, they had to drain the pool, sand it again, and then patch it. So we had to get that taken care of again because I guess it gets worse and worse if you don't fix it. Kind of a bummer that we had to drain the pool and do all that again, but at least it's getting filled up. So Mike definitely got some stuff done this week between the septic tank, between the septic tank and getting this finished um, and scheduled with the, the pool guy. So that's one more thing that's done. Look at that guys. There's one of those butterflies that came out of the cocoon. I'm afraid if I try to move closer, it might run away. Well, it probably won't run. It'll probably fly away. Let me see if I can get closer without it freaking out. It's drinking out of the pool right now. Look at that. It's beautiful. It's called a morning cloak. Northern morning cloak. Oh my God, it's letting me get so close. That's what was all in front of the house. This is the first time I've seen one stop. I've seen a few flitting about. Look how beautiful it is. Oh, I'm so glad I got to see it up close. Oh my gosh. You guys, you have no idea. It's just beautiful. It's just sitting here drinking at this little shallow because we're, re oh, it, it ran away. Well, look again, it flew. But oh my God, how cool is that? Headed towards the garden. That's a good thing. <laughs> fantastic so pretty cool guys i'm glad i got to see one uh, out by the pool that was pretty neat i seen a few of them yesterday around and it's it's pretty neat to kind of see them flitting about the garden and that most of them so far seem to have made it except for that one in the corner that looks like it sort of didn't make it but other than that still got a few that look like they could go in the next couple of days here so we'll see we might have a few more butterflies popping out but you know, they just, they emerged while I was out of town for a couple of days in Mississippi. And so I missed the big awakening of the majority of them that made their chrysalises all at once, but that's okay. It was still pretty cool process to watch. And I'm glad that I got to see a little bit of it and the end results. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you on the next one.